slow morning pretty unlike me i guess last night lauren and i went out with our friends we didn't go like drinking or anything we literally just chatted all night and got smalls at town square so i allowed myself to have a lion until 8 a.m at the latest i ended up waking up at 22 8 just naturally and then i just read for ages i am doing a reading vlog so i'm like reading a lot and yeah just had breakfast had a shower and now i'm going to do my face because i look i do just look dead i am not super sure what i'm gonna do today i do have quite a few things that i need to do but they're not really fun things to film but yeah this is just what my days off have been looking like recently the majority of the time i am just like doing the same things every day like reading and going to work just pretty mundane like boring things but i don't know this is my life <laughs> this is what i do every day i need to get a new concealer this is running out maybe i'll do that today oh, i just can't be bothered to walk into town and i did so much walking yesterday because i got vaxxed yesterday my second vaccination because lauren and i are going to fly to scotland for my birthday the week after next and we're flying from dublin and you need proof that you're double vaccinated i'm pretty sure to fly out of dublin but yeah i'm very excited to go to scotland for my birthday we are going to dundee to visit peter and i haven't been to dundee before i've only ever been to edinburgh actually in scotland so this is going to be a fun trip we're only going for like two days because we were originally supposed to be going to see bb doobie in dublin but she had to cancel because of the restrictions in the south of ireland every time i'm just about to see her i miss it or it gets cancelled just when am i gonna see her she's like my favorite artist ever <laughs> kind of sad about that but also excited to go out in scotland because i'm pretty sure you can go proper clubbing like dancing and everything and i haven't done that in so long so yeah that's gonna be super fun i'll try and vlog it i'm really bad at vlogging in front of people that i don't know so we'll see speaking of vlogging sophie and Liv, my friends from home came to visit me a couple weekends ago i think oh my god that's gone so quickly and i filmed a lot of it so yeah i'm gonna insert all of that footage now so you can see what we got up to when they came to visit and just as like a nice little memory for us that we can come back to so yeah this was my weekend with my two best friends from home
in a couple weeks and I'm turning 23. I'm pretty sure a lot of you think I'm like 16. <laughs> I fucking wish. No, I'm 23 soon, almost, not yet. I am bored of myself. I have lived my whole life the way I look and I always look at Pinterest and Instagram and stuff and I'm like, oh, I wanna look like that. I wanna dress like that. I wanna have cool tattoos and dye my hair and shit, but then I just never do it. I'm like, why? So I'm doing it now. I booked an appointment to see a hairdresser and I am hopefully going to do something super fun with my hair and dye it for the first time like ever. Of course, I'm gonna vlog it and everything, but yeah, I'm really excited. And it's happening literally the day before I turn 23. So let's hope I like it. Otherwise that's gonna be a mess. I don't love birthdays there's always something about them which is actually kind of sad because it's like time's passing very quickly like i'm pretty sure i was 21 like two weeks ago but it was actually two years ago that's how i entered the pandemic now i'm 23 which is terrifying i just want to change my appearance and actually start doing the things that i find inspiration in things around in my room i know like halfway through i'm just gonna be like i can't be bothered or this looks like shit and then just move it back to where it is i've drawn out some plans and i just don't know which one to do right now it's like this and my first thought was to do this the only issue is if i moved my bed to literally where i'm sitting right now i think it would be hard to get into my bedroom but i kind of really like the thought of having this section over here as like my work and get ready section then there's this, which is more like what it was like when I first moved in. But I'm just not sure how I feel about having my desk against the wall over here. For some reason, that's really depressing to me. That's the last one. So instead of the bed being on this side, move it to this side. That's the easiest one to try. So I think I'm going to try that now and see how I like it. Okay, let's go. We don't have 
to talk We can sit still, red as sins, corner of my eye What a wonderful cardigan slipping out my mouth, baby I've been waiting for you No, I don't wanna dance Baby, after you leave I'm showing up on your phone Be the last one to see with my bedroom for now like I'm shattered I can't be bothered to do anything else yeah I literally just moved my bed but yeah I think I really like it I'm really hungry I forgot to have dinner and all I had for lunch was that donut but it is it's 8 22 and I just don't want to make something I'm just gonna have a massive breakfast in the morning I'll probably make pancakes oh yeah do you ever just get in those modes where the task at hand is just all you can focus on and then you just forget about everything else that's literally what's been me all day I'm gonna do some yoga now then read my book and then go to sleep oh and I just had a shower and I used my Lush Rub 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 Scrub for the first time and it's so good and I feel soft. It's been a productive evening. Can you dream again? 